CTO at Techspain. So I'm a uh, semiconductor engineer uh, that went to the reverse engineering side of things. And I'm like the principal consultant for security evaluation at Techspain, okay. among other things. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what exactly does Techspain, what are all the things that Techspain does? Uh, so we, we try to do like three things. So the first one would be educational. Huh. So we are giving basically talks and trainings at conferences or on, on site at customer site okay. in our office to explain the threats and, and risk associated with um, reverse engineering hmm. uh, based attacks. Hmm. So like micro probing and all of these kind of things. Right. Uh, then we do consultancy work, so it's more like uh, the evaluation side, right. uh, where we do consul consultancy work for integrators and chip vendors, huh. basically to test the security of a given chip. Um, we also provide, we will provide really soon a, a software for uh, reverse engineering chips, oh, so, so uh, some kind of IDA Pro, but this time for hardware. Right, right. Uh, and then we have like the last part of uh, TechSplain activity is like, um, risk mitigation. So basically mm. we are building secure IPs that we try to sell to uh, uh, to chip vendors okay. basically. Okay. And we also do for them like uh, design reviews right. and, and stuff like this. So they can have like a better device at the end of the day. So right. Right. We, we, we are trying to, to be at every stage of the, the life of a, of a semiconductor device right. to make a better world with security. So um, you're training at hardware.io? is yes. called IC reversing. Yes. So what exactly does it mean? So the, the training has the, the, the goal of like uh, bringing students to a point where they understand uh, everything which is related to reverse engineering and IC. Okay. But more than this, they, they must also like get the, 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 the hacker mind, the, the mindset, and understand what are the attacks that are put in place in the real world. Okay. So okay. That's, that's my goal, at least. I want the student to be able to just like take the training, right. learn about like digital electronics, transistors, right. but to go to the bigger picture where they can understand attacks on, on this kind of things. So right, right. So I see it is the integrated chips, right? They're yes. everywhere. So when a vulnerability in an IC is discovered, what kind of impact does, can it have in the real world? It can be pretty bad. I mean, like, uh, IC cannot be patched by nature. Right. So if you find, like, a big enough hole, um, it's there for all the product life, basically. Mm. So pirates are well aware of that, and, uh, and they, they, they are trying most, most of the time to extract firmware from, from given products. Right. It can be a wide range of products, and from this, try to um, I don't know, do counterfeits or do off-branded products or do piracy, you know, mm. for control access si system or take control over like key fobs and, and, and stuff like this. I mean, it's, it's endless. So we are just like looking at the chips right. and then the applications are just like, I don't know, I cannot uh, cite them all. It's, right. it's a lot. Um, um, and your training, um, can you give me a brief outline of the entire course? Yes, so um, so I always say to the student like the, the first day is super theoretical, so mm -hmm. it's a, it's a mix between like uh, theoretical and and assignment things, uh, and uh, of course if we want to jump into ICs, you know, I'm, I want to make sure during the first day that mm. everybody knows what a transistor is, um, what how the, the chips are structured. So basically right. we go from transistor to logical gate to mm. function to CPU architecture. Mm. And uh, when we reach that stage, then we add the attack parts. Right. Okay. So now that we know all of this and we know how to extract, to read, to, to interpret, uh, how do we attack such a thing? Okay. And uh, that's mm. what we do. There's a mini game and so on. It's, uh, okay. it's pretty fun. Okay. That sounds really good. So who's the target audience? Do, do you expect people to have some sort of knowledge before they come to the uh, training? No. Uh, in fact, uh, to me, like zero skill is required. Oh, that's uh, the only thing that uh, you need to have is maybe being curious hmm. and uh, not being shy of trying, you know, right. and failing, you know. Right. And um, I have to say that most people think it's super complicated, you know, when it comes to looking at transistors and understand how they work and build right. attacks, you know. And uh, I mean, from my experience, I would say it's not that complicated. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, anybody who is doing like software security or writing software, or I don't know, doing like uh, 
system admin and mm. things like this they have all the what's needed to to do this in fact right. you know and yeah. uh, it's not it's not something which is like super complicated mm. they can interesting so for for i mean like for the attendees usually we have like people from everywhere you know from the chip vendors huh. that uh, wants to understand what's going on in the field uh, the integrators are coming there because they are the one who has the product in the field, you know? so when there's an attack, they are the one that uh, are blamed, first right. of all, and they are the one who have to react. So they come to the training to mainly understand what's going on. Right. Uh, and then we have like uh, LEAs a lot, you know, law, agents, law enforcement agencies, mm. because they want to extract your iPhone or something. Of course. Uh, and they, they want to understand um, how uh, those kind of attacks can give them access to the internal of, uh, of a system. Right. Uh, right. But uh, I mean, and then we have university students, <laughs> everything. So it's it's a broad range of people, right. and it's it, it, it makes it cool. Uh, right. So I wanted to ask you something else. You've been part of the Hardware.io conference almost since the first time. Yes. This is the fourth one. Yes. So you've seen the conference grow, change. Oh yes. What's been your impressions? How do you feel about the conference? I feel super great. I feel, I feel super lucky, to be honest, to be here again, you know, fourth year, fourth time I'm here. It's, it's, it's kind of some kind of achievement. And I, in fact, like the first year I came to Adware.io because it's, it was the, the, the first time I, I was hearing about a conference that will deal only with hardware. Right. You know? And right. I'm like, okay, I have to go there. And right. That was the point. You know? So <laughs> I, I jumped on the, the opportunity and came. It was great, you know. And then I, I saw like, yeah, the conference is much bigger now. Uh, right. And uh, I mean, I, I, I like every aspect of it, you know, mm. like uh, how the things are organized for the training. Uh, people can really meet easily, speak easily. It's, uh, the atmosphere is super cool. Right. Uh, the organization is flawless. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's super nice. And I, so I would say that uh, I find more integrators than cheap vendors in the room. <laughs> um, but uh, to me, they are my main target anyway. So it's, right. it's, it's, it's good. It's overall, it's, uh, it's super nice to be there and to be able to interact with all those guys. So well, that's really nice too. Yeah. So one final question. All right. Um, if you have to choose one memory of all the conferences, the hardware.io editions that you have attended, during the conference, during the training, or during the drinks, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't have to be an appropriate memory. Which one do you choose? <laughs> um, that's a super tough question. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, I, I don't know. The, I, I mean, like the thing I, I remember the most is like I, I, t I gave two talks in four years there. And before my talks, I'm so scared every time because you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to talk. And, and that's like the first thing that comes to my mind. Like, uh, oh, I have maybe to talk there. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so scary. But uh, no, then it's, it's, uh, it's all the good memories with, uh, with friends you meet, you know, it's, right. uh, and right. the, the, the good conversation you can have. And uh, yeah, and uh, the drinking and, so, <laughs> and, and stuff like this. So yeah, no, it's very cool. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's uh, that's fine. Too tough it's for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You.